Hey guys, so today we're going to learn about Mary Magdalene and we're going to learn about her role during this Holy Week thing um, because we, we know her, the name comes to mind um, from when Jesus first encountered her. Um, but now we see her again at, during Holy Week and she's got such a cool role. So let's go ahead and read John 20 verse 18. It says, Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This particular Mary was one of the most extraordinary women in the Bible. She is the only visitor to the tomb on Easter who is named in all four Gospels. Her weeping at the tomb is transformed by the risen Lord into supreme joy. One of the most memorable scenes in the resurrection accounts. She has been called the Apostle to the Apostles for announcing the good news to them. Mary came from Magdala, a town on the west central shore of the Sea of Galilee. Jesus cast out seven demons from her, which means that he cured her psychological problems, not that she was a witch. She remained cured, serving as a leader of the Galilean Women's Guild that supported Jesus and the disciples. Would that the church and the world had let it go at that. Pope Gregory, the great um, misidentified, or Pope Gregory the Great misidentified her as the sinful woman of Luke 7.37. Others have wrong, wrongfully cast her as a prostitute. Pseudo scholars today try to marry off Jesus with Mary Magdalene as the favorite Mrs. Jesus. Yet there is not a shred of evidence in sacred or secular sources that Jesus ever married. Christian theology, theology would be extremely complicated had he done so. Let's pray. While Mary Magdalene and others in your support staff were likely staying in Bethany during Holy Week, you, courageous Christ, were again in Jerusalem, boldly answering your critics and testifying to the truth. Inspire us, we pray, with similar courage in defending the faith. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.